Hey guys, I am coming to you guys today because I haven't did a notary chit chat in a while and I decided I would do one based off of some trends that I've been seeing. Out of the last 10 signings, four of the signings, the paperwork for the signings, had everywhere that the signers needed to sign and the notary um, places filled out. Like they put check marks and then they even wrote of you know notary complete this and notary this is what we need from you and this brought to my attention are notaries causing signing services to lose money and work because of course if the signing services lose money and they lose work then that trickles down to the notaries losing work and losing money as well so I just wanted to come on and say that please understand that knowing how to notarize the document is basically what you need to know. If you don't know how to notarize, get you a mentor, get you a shadow someone. You can also uh, get a um, get your notary primer. Get your notary primer for your state. The notary primer will list everything that needs to be in that notarial statement, everything that needs to be filled out and how it's supposed to be filled out in order for it to be correct. Because the way that I look at it, I've been in this business for almost three years and I'm starting to see more and more where the signing services are starting to be more hands-on. I think I did a video about this probably about six months ago where I was starting to see the signing services be more hands-on with us, the notaries, because we aren't following their instructions. Following their instructions and making sure you do the signing the way that they need it and want it to be correct is the way that you're going to become preferred. Is the way that you're going to be on that top five is that is at the top list or they may just call you directly and don't even send it out and see if you're available so knowing how to notarize is the best thing in this business it's okay to know what the document means but knowing where to notarize how to notarize where the signer needs to sign where the signer needs to initial yes we do not always have those times where you're going to get the documents beforehand and you're going to be able to oh let me prep my documents and you can put your little stickies here and stickies there sometimes you may get the documents an hour before you're supposed to be at the signing and the signing is 20 30 minutes down the road from where you live you're not going to have time enough to print your copy print the signer's copy and then prep those documents so you're going to have to have a keen eye and understand okay let me take my time let me see okay where does the signer need to sign? Where does the signer need to initial? Where does the signer need to uh, fill out? Okay, let me see for each document. And also, when it comes to your notarial section, stop, think to yourself. And even if you need to get that notary primer out and look, if it's an acknowledgement, look and see what the acknowledgement section says. Okay, I need to put uh, my venue here. I need to make sure... Um, okay, where are we? What's the date? Who whose acknowledgement is this for? Is it one acknowledgement or giraffe for both signers? Or is there a one giraffe? I mean, excuse me, or if there is there one notary section for each signer? Okay, I know that means I'm gonna have two stamps. I need to sign twice and I need to fill out these um notary notarial sections twice. Take your time know how to notarize and understand that if you know how to notarize and if you do it we are we're all human we all make mistakes i made mistakes before but you need to minimize your mistakes we all do in order to continue to get business from the signing services title companies because i tell you my opinion if this continues the signing services are, go are going to start to be 
are going to start to be and continue to be hands on in every type of way that they need to to ensure that they can keep getting excuse me keep getting business from that title or escrow company or lender so they can continue making money even if that means that you get blacklisted from doing signings for them or if you get blacklisted from a platform because if if many of you don't know when you have a platform like signing order or snap docs the signing companies on the back end they sometimes call the customer and ask them to do a survey based of all, based off of the signing that you were done were you there on time were you dressed professionally um were you courteous were you kind did they did you try to provide them any type of legal advice and they can put a review on the back end that we can't see but other signing services can see so if you continue to make mistakes and don't fix those mistakes and then continue to make other mistakes i can almost guarantee you that you're going to be blacklisted or you're going to have a negative review and they're not going to be able to and you're not going to be able to get work from signing companies or title companies or escrow companies i just wanted to come and give you guys this little chit chat today let me know down in the comments if you guys have um saw this or this has been happening in your area too um i love reading your comments till next time happy stamping and signing